how do you feel? You're sitting in a chair now, mm-hmm. and it's due to football. It's due to a very violent and combative sport. How do you feel about this sport now? Because we hear about CTE. We hear about so many football players that once they leave the game, they're never the same mentally, and you're never the same physically. Do you have any, number one, regrets? And number two, for parents of young kids, would you warn them or advise them to stay away from this sport? Or do you still love the game? I still love the game. There is no animosity towards the game of football. This injury happened to me for a reason. I know all these types of injuries that are happening. I'm, I'm so thankful that it's you know upon us now that we can educate ourselves. Because you know what? I, I tell people, football was the best teacher of life for me. Just to be able to commit to something, sacrifice, grind, work hard, push through adversity, overcome that adversity, get knocked down, get back up. It set me up for life. I really, like I said, whatever you throw at me, I'm like, let, let's go. I've been in situations before. I've been in them trenches. I've been in the battle, physically, mentally, emotionally. I've been there. I feel like football sets you up for life, sports in general. So when I, people ask me, would you let... You had kids and you let, would you let your son go out there? I said, if he wants to give it his 100%, absolutely. Obviously, it's a, it's a danger that comes with the game, yes. But the mindset that he's going to have playing the game of football, the things that he's going to learn, the friendships, the team developed, the brotherhood that's developed, that will set him up for life. He'll be good. And guess what? Nowadays, which is smart, when I was growing up, any old, you know, Joe Schmo coach could throw out there, yeah, run full speed into each other, crack each other's head. You know what I mean? Now, no, you got to get certified to become a coach. You got to learn the proper techniques. And that's all because of, like you said, the CTE and the head injuries. Now these kids are finally learning at a young age the proper techniques to actually play the game of football compared to when, say, you were growing up or when I was growing up and they just said, run full speed into each other. Now these kids are actually learning at a young age and it's going to set them up as they go to, you know, in middle school, to high school, college, and then the pros, he's going to be practicing these techniques since they were five years old, compared to when they told us to line up full speed and run full speed into each other. You know, sitting in and talking to you, and even before uh, we had a chance to have this conversation, you know, I think to, to a person who is someone I admire, someone I respect, uh, someone who inspires me day to day, Mr. Inky Johnson. And I'm not sure, are you familiar with that name? I know Inky Johnson, that's my boy right there. Okay. Inky is, I call him the GOAT. I always hit him offline like, yo brother, keep inspiring, keep doing Mm -hmm. what you're doing. You are the GOAT. You are making a difference in this world whether you realize it or not. But one of the things about Inky, and for anybody who is not familiar with their name, Inky Johnson played for Tennessee. He had a very, very tragic accident on the field, similar to yours. He is now permanently paralyzed in his right arm. But that injury was in somewhat a blessing. It was the true meaning of the word serendipity, because it led him on this life journey that he's on now, which is inspiring and motivating people. But he always says, you know, Sean, I I wouldn't change it. If I had, I was going literally Inky, I believe he was eight games away from the NFL when he had his injury. He was. But he still would not change it. Your life has been fruitful and plentiful since your injury. But still in all, it's not the life you knew. It's not the life you lived up until 20 years old. Would you change, if you had a chance to not go to that field, if you had the opportunity to sit that game out, would you? No. No, I tell people this all the time. What happened to me was meant to happen to me because 
of the blessings that have come from it. The way God knew I was built for this, I had the mindset for this. I had no idea how many people's lives I would touch after this injury. And I truly say these past 10 years, it has been, it's been fun. I know, do I like being paralyzed? I don't know. But the places I've gotten to go, the people I've gotten to meet, the things I've gotten to do, the people I've gotten to touch, inspire, looking up to me, the friendships that are made, I can't take that back. I cannot take that back. It's special to me. It gives me a purpose to wake up every morning and push to be the best that I can be. I'm driven. I'm motivated. I can't stop now. This is my responsibility. And I love it. I love it. And one day, when I do get up from this chair, boy, <laughs> it's going to be a par Hey, and it will be all all the puzzles will have aligned and the pieces we put into place and this was your mission this was your goal this is god is this is what i sent you here to do and look how many millions of people that you've touched along the way beautiful what's up guys thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video truly appreciate you if you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.